Okay, so here we have a bull and cock, cock and bull, bull and bull and cock and bull, bull whatever, bull cock, cock, bull cock, bull cock, isn't it? Anyway, so we have a leak and she's gone a bit bad and before it goes too bad, this is an expansion tank, not too sure it runs, he said it's a pressure, I've been told it's a pressure vessel set up, that's the burner coming in. You won't hear me, I'll stop in a minute and we'll get back to you. I've got to isolate by turning that tap off over there. Okay, that's what I'm doing first. Okay, so we're going to swap it like for like. I'm going to try to do intermittent with this because the boiler's coming on. Let me just show you the boiler, you can see why. So, this is just an expansion vessel. I think it's for the boiler in the other room. But these are the big boys. So if they kick in, I'll have to just shut off for that because these are loud. All right. Here we go. Let's see. I have to have a bit of light on this, I think. Maybe a bit of light. Uh, make any difference? Probably not. Anyway, right. So like for like, I've ordered one of these with the bend in it, which is the same as this one. Here we go. So I'm changing the ball as well. You can see it's a bit more worse for wear. That's where we're up to. So to get everything ready, the same thing, I'm just going to screw the ball on. And exactly the same as what's in the tank. So we're going to replicate exactly what's in the tank. Okay. Here we go. Right, let's see if that isolation switch works now. I've used a little bit of temporary force, not force, just on the handle and just give it a twist to turn it off. And that's where we're up to, so I'm going to undo this in a bit. Oh, that's lucky. Was it lucky or did it not turn? Oh. Mm, that's a bigger spanner on the inside as well. Two plastic ones as well. Won't get to them. One on the inside. As you can see, and one there. That's it. So if we do this undo this one, then you can pull the ball cock forward. You'll see what I mean. See, and then we can undo the sorry, hands in the way. thread on this. Oh, come on. That's it. Discard that one. Right, so we're going to put this one, take him right to the end. Like that. Take this one off. We don't want to do it over the water because if you drop it, you have to fish it out. as you can see so you want him and then we'll tighten that nut up and the rest up in a second oh, I 
can see that. Where am I? Where am I? Sorry, I'm leaning over here. It's a bit awkward. Right. Well, let me just take this all up first. Just back on there. Like so. Don't go mad with the tightness, just so it's good. Sorry about the noise. Right, okay, I've tightened the ball up on there. She's lined up. Everything's nice and tight. We'll just pop the water back on. Make sure there's no leaks. All right, bear with me. dropped a bit of water we can alter that by pushing the ball but it should stop in a second and the overflow is right out the way there so we should be all right okay if you enjoyed that video give us a thumbs up fitting a ball and cock cock and ball whatever you want to call it all right take care no leaks is there don't dry as a bone. Alright, all the best. See you in the next one.